the exact same example that we did in the previous one, but we're going to do it for 2,3-dimethylbutane. So we're going to try to get the most stable Newman projection, but what I want to do with you is again go through the whole process. So the first thing that I'm going to do, they tell me to look down carbons 2 and 3, so I'm going to put carbons 2 and 3 in a circle. That's what's going to represent the circle of my Newman projection. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do three circles for the Newman projections. All right, I'm going to start right here. One of them is the front carbon, the other one is the back carbon. Since I want the most stable one, I know it's going to be a staggered conformation, one of them. So I'm going to draw the three staggered conformations for 2,3-dimethylbutane. Alright, the front carbon has two methyls and a hydrogen attached to it. Right now, don't worry about where you put them, just put them in the front carbon. The back carbon also has two methyls and a hydrogen attached to it. Do not obsess as to where to put them right now, just write them. And now what we're going to do is that we're going to rotate 120 degrees and then 120 degrees more. I'm going to leave the front carbon in the exact same position. So I will be rotating the back carbon. If you wanted to rotate the front carbon, you can do it. Just make sure that you do not move the back carbon. All right. I'm going to be moving the back carbon. So this CH3 is going to come over here. This CH3 is going to move up here. And this hydrogen is going to move to right here on the right. So hydrogen, CH3, CH3. We're going to rotate again the back carbon. And now this hydrogen is going to come over here to the bottom. This methyl is going to come up here and this methyl is going to come to the right side. We're not done. I'm going to put my interconversions here. I'm going to check for Gauche interaction, so I'm coming to this one right here. And remember that you signify steric hindrance by making two curves that overlap or at least touch a little bit. And that is a measure of steric hindrance between those methyls right here. So this one has one, two, three, three gauche interactions. This one in the middle, I'm going to go only to the methyls. And I have two methyls right next to each other. And then on the other side, I have the other two methyls. So this one in the middle has two gauche interactions. The last one has four methyls in a row. So I have one, two, three gauche interactions. Which one is the more stable? If you answer the middle one, the one that has the least number of Gauche interactions, then you're right. So this one right here in the middle is the most stable Newman projection for 2,3-dimethylbutane.